Hi, my name is Jane Mason, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about executive coaching and how I approach executive coaching. Now, first, a tiny bit about me. I was, uh, I did my MBA at London Business School a long time ago, and I had a career in financial services, and then I was a partner in a strategy consulting firm. Now, while I was a partner at the strategy consulting firm, I actually decided to do my executive coaching qualification, and that was back in 2005. Now, the reason I did it is because I needed a coach. You know, I wanted to have more effective and more impactful conversations with my clients who were all senior executives. And there really wasn't anything at my firm to help me do that, to address my individual needs and my individual kind of development opportunities. So I actually did a coaching course in order to help me. And over time, I have done more and more executive coaching, and now it is a great deal of what I do. So the first thing I think to understand is executive coaching is really about helping organizations and executives achieve their aims more quickly, okay? Because coaching really focuses on the individual executive's behaviors what they may want to start doing, what they may want to stop doing, the behaviors that served them in the past but are no longer serving them. And in this way, it's super focused on the needs of the executive in a way that training programs may not be, right? An organization might have fantastic training programs, award-winning training programs, but they might not actually be what the individual executives need at that time. So when you're faced with an executive who is new in role, when you're faced with an executive who is new in organization, somebody who is coming up to promotion or facing a particular challenge, it could be that everything that got them there is not gonna get them any farther. And that's where coaching really does come in. It's just an extraordinarily powerful tool to help executives and organizations get where they wanna go faster. Now, I think the key to coaching is to really always bear in mind, and that's the, you know, the, the coach as well as the organization, that the client is the organization. And the executive works within the context of the organization. So the extent to which the organization has job descriptions or sets performance targets or you know, sales targets or requires behavioral change because of, for example, an extraneous shock like an acquisition and therefore there's a new culture to be implemented, or a societal shift such as diversity and inclusion, which requires everybody to be more mindful of their behavior and adopt new behaviors. Coaching is incredibly powerful, okay? It's all good news. Coaching is not for the underperformers. Coaching is for your top performers. It's an investment in their future and in your future. And what I find, as I said before, it helps everybody get there faster because it is so completely focused on the needs of the most senior executives. If you want to know more, uh, please give me a call or uh, send me an email, jane at virtuousbread.com, and I would love to hear from you, and I'd love to continue to discuss this with you. Bye for now.